Edinburgh CISD Distance Learning Google Classroom Learning Series, Module 9, The Classwork Tab, Part 5, Add Material. Let's come back to the Classwork tab and talk about adding material. Since the material section is like adding classroom content, let's think about what kind of content would you need as a teacher that you need digitally. From beginning of the year to the end of the year and throughout the year, you can add material at all times. As an example, at the beginning of the year, you might want to add a syllabus. So I have already typed the syllabus on a Microsoft Word document, and I want to attach it here. So I need a title. I'm going to skip description. The title is self-explanatory. And I'm going to add a file, just like we did earlier with assignment. I want to upload a file from my device. It's on my desktop. There it is, class syllabus. Open, upload. Now I've successfully attached a class syllabus to my material. Let's move on over to the right-hand side of your options. Do you want this syllabus for only one of your classes or more than one? This is handy for those secondary teachers that have multiple classes. Right next to it, is this a material that's specific to all students or certain students? You have the option to select as you did in previous options and functions from previous videos. On topic, I do want to create a topic that's called general resources. Now I'm ready to post this material. And there you have it. A topic called general resources and one syllabus. What if you had another type of material that you want to make available to your students that you need periodically? Rather than attaching it to every single assignment, you could add it as a material item and just reference it when you assign it. So I'm going to come back to my create button and down to material. And I'm going to say, for instance, that we are working on a Shakespeare unit. And I'm going to be needing it for a whole six weeks. So I'm going to type here, reading or unit seven. And I'm going to add it. And it's on my desktop saved as a PDF document. So I'm going to upload a file and open. Upload. Since this is a rather large file, it's taking a little bit of time. This particular complete works of William Shakespeare I obtained from Google Books. It is a free download. Make sure you're only up uploading royalty-free or copyright-free items. Now I have successfully uploaded a PDF document called The Complete Works of William Shakespeare. And this is the reading for Unit 7. On the right-hand side, you have the same options as we did before. Is this a material that is only for one of your classes? Or do you want to share it to other classes for all students? or only some students. On topic, this is not a general resource. It's not unit four or unit five. So it is part of all a brand new unit called unit seven. Now I'm ready to post. And there is my unit seven resource. So, let me talk a little bit about what's happening now on your classwork stream. You notice how you have a lot of things and some of these things are not numerically in order. That kind of bugs me a little. So I want to just move this unit seven down underneath unit five. So I'm going to move this down, move it down another level. And there you are. It's at least somewhat in numeric 
order. And I want classroom talk because that's what kids do when they first walk into your classroom. They talk. So that's a one way to reorder your topics with all of the assignments and or posts that you've embedded underneath certain topics. If you wanted to change it, you could. I don't want that there. I can edit and move it to another topic if I wanted to. But it's fine there where it's at. So this concludes Module 9, the Classwork tab, Part 5, Adding Material. Thank you.